بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ونس اگین آئی ویلکم یو ٹو مائی ایکیڈیمک آئلس ریڈنگ ویڈیو ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو یو سم ٹپس ہاؤ ٹو سالو رائٹ دا کریکٹ لیٹرز ان باکسز اینڈ اٹس بیسکلی وٹ وی کال ملٹیپل چوائس ویئر دیر آر ایٹ لیسٹ فائیو ٹو سکس آپشنس اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو چوز two options out of all so i'm going to tell you how to read the question how to scan the passage where to find the clue and how to find the answer all these tips will be given in this video if you watch it till the end let's take a start okay guys now let's see this is multiple choice question two letters from one two three four five six so out of six you have to choose two letters And here choose the correct letter A, B, C, D and this is that. Now let's start with this. Write the correct letter. The list below includes factors contributing to classroom noise. Now first thing is factors contributing to classroom noise. Which two are mentioned by the writer of the passage? Now we need to find a paragraph where they mention the factors which contribute to classroom noise. the factors that contribute to classroom noise and then out of six factors we have to see which two factors do they talk about now this is what we need to find now first we go back and see where they talk about factors which contribute to classroom noise okay uh, now let's see can have a major impact on their development of speech and communication resulting in a This thing, a uh, preliminary study in New Zealand has shown that classroom noise presents a major concern for teachers and this modern teaching practices, organization of desk in the classroom, poor classroom acoustics and machine, uh, mechanical means of ventilation such as air conditioning units all contribu uh, 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 contribute to the number of children unable to comprehend the teacher's voice means factors of noise. Now what are the factors? The answer is here somewhere. A preliminary study in New Zealand has shown that classroom noise presents a major concern for teachers and pupils. Modern teaching practices, okay, the organization of desks, aha, uh -huh. modern teaching practices, one factor, ah, organization of desks in the classroom, they drag the desk, another factor, poor classroom acoustics, another factor, and mechanical means of ventilation that's another factor such as air conditioning that is another factor so all these are factors out of six we got to see which factor is mentioned over there now first current teaching methods now we need to keep in mind current teaching methods and we come back here yeah modern teaching practices uh-uh wow current teaching methods and modern teaching practices Wow, what a good shot. Sixer, huh? A is the answer. Next, echoing corridors. We got to see if there is any mention. This is what we've already selected. Organization of desks, corridors. Do they talk about corridors such as air conditioning, contribute to the number of children? No, they didn't mention anything about echoing corridors. Cooling system. Now see, cooling system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Air conditioning. Poor classroom acoustics and mechanical means of ventilation such as air conditioning. Air conditioning is cooling system. So this is the answer. And by the way, we have to select two. Now we don't need to read that. But anyways, large class sizes? No. Loud voiced teachers? No. Playground games? No. So the answer is A and C for question number 11 and 12. Welcome back. So guys, that's all. Are you feeling confident? Now you need to do some practice and you'll be more confident. If you haven't subscribed my channel, consider subscribing. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you all the best. Take care. Allah Hafiz.